Hello everyone, this is Mike and you are watching Really. Bloody Wood began their journey as a parody band uploading metal covers of popular Hindi songs on YouTube. Six years on, they have toured about 90 countries, played in some of the most iconic venues including Wacken Open Air and have become the first Indian metal act to feature on Billboard charts. The band's music is strictly head-banging but it's the ability to introduce foxy sounds and textures into the classic chug of heavy metal that sets them apart. A gorgeous flute crescendo pulls you in a trance before an unexpected blast of toe, a percussion instrument, followed by a gnarly riff shatters the out of it. Rolling Stone magazine describes their concerts as an oral assault and fans call it a violent sensory overload. The band has also made waves in India where it headlined several big music festivals this year including Lollapalooza and NH7 Weekender. India's metal scene dates back to the 1980s when heavy metal bands like Millennium broke on the scene. While rock jazz quickly found new listeners, metal continued to be seen as an underground movement existing on the fringes of the mainstream. Listeners were few, record labels were hard to come by and touring mostly meant performing in college festivals. But despite the limitations, listeners say it was always a vibrant community. Over the years, metal has metasized into many subgenres that are constantly finding new takers and earning genuine praise, but it is still not the biggest selling genre anywhere in the world. When you compare it to pop music, metal is still an underground subculture. The difference is even more stark in India, where only a handful of urban listeners consume the genre. But that also does not mean the scene is over. Metal is alive in India. There are our children doing what we did 20 years ago, according to Mahija. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.